Welcome back to our series of video for, for Tableau in two minutes, uh, designing and building a basic dashboard. Uh, what we're going to do in this particular video is take a uh, filtering option, maybe give our users the option to filter for different uh, customer segments, and we're going to put that filtering option on our dashboard here. So the way we do that is we go back to one of our raw visualizations, we can't do it from the dashboard, and then we're going to take the customer segment option and we're going to drag it to the filters shelf. The filter shelf, we're just going to select all of these for the moment. We don't actually want to filter anything out at this stage, but we do want to have it on the filter shelf. Now you'll see that this customer segment is going to apply to this particular visualization. If I click on the other items, you'll see there's nothing on the filter shelf. So what I do on this version, it's not going to have any impact on what happens over here. But we can change that. To change that, we're going to click on the customer segment pill drop down. We're going to say apply to worksheets. It's an option only available in the filter shelf. Um, and then in this case, we're going to click all using this data source. Now that is going to apply the customer segment filter to all of the visualizations that we build using this orders data source that we have set up. We can look in here to orders by category. You'll see we have the customer segment filter, orders by province. We have the customer segment filter. Now we need to move that out onto our dashboard. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our vertical layout container here and we're just going to shift it over a little bit. I'm actually going to make it just a hair smaller. There we go. So we have space for the filter on the side. And then to get the filter to actually appear, I just need to click on one of my visualizations. I'm going to use orders over time here up at the top. Go to filters. And then you see here is my customer segment filter. I also have a couple of date filters, which I'm not going to use. We have cust the, the customer segment filter, and I'm going to pull that out. Now you'll notice this has been dropped into its own layout container. Um, unfortunately, when Tableau tries to do layout containers, they can get a bit uh, convoluted. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this I'm going to hold shift and drag it out, and that's now floating. And then I'm going to take all of these other layout containers, and I'm just going to delete them and make them go away. Uh, yep, I want to delete all of those. And all that's done, you see, that's deleted all of those other layout containers that we didn't want to have. Uh, what we're going to do now, though, because we do sort of really want this to be in a layout container, it's a bit ugly just sitting in the middle there, is we're going to add our own horizontal layout container. So we're going to go to the dashboard. Add a horizontal layout container. Again, because we're working from the center out, right? When we add this container, oops, we're going to have to take it off the segment there. When we add this layout container, we're then going to drag our big, this big vertical layout container that we have everything in, as well as our customer segment into this. Uh, this big container. So the first thing we'll do is just drag customer segment in. You see that gives us the customer segment in that container. Then we're going to take this vertical thing. We're also going to drag that into the layout container. Actually, we're going to have to drop it just a little bit out of the way first so that we can get to it. Then we're going to put it over on the side here. And now you'll see that we have a horizontal layout container, which has both of our items in it. We're going to click on that. Just drag it to resize it. And now we have this handy dandy little customer segment piece on the side that lines up nicely with all of our visualizations. All right, and that's it for uh, adding some filtering to this. You'll see that uh, if we click off a segment, all of my visualizations will change. And then if we click on all, it will all come back again. Now for the next segment, what we're going to do is add some actions within the dashboard. So we're going to add it so that if you click on things in here, that will also filter. So take a look in the video description for the link to that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like what you're seeing, then please subscribe to the channel for more great Tableau tips and tricks.